Hey guys, big surprise. I'm out in my garden today and I'm just looking around to see what's going on early this morning because the uh, it's supposed to be really warm today. So I watered last night so that everything be watered nicely. But I noticed that some of my uh, tomato plants are falling over and they need, you need that sucker taken off. They need, um, to be kind of propped up and help, helped to stay up because they're starting to get tomatoes on them and get a little heavier. And I noticed this one falling right over. That stalk on that thing is just huge. It's huge. So I have this stick that I just cut. Um, I have some that I bought, like this green steak. That's gonna go in a little bit further so it will hold up better. But I've cut some sticks that uh, help these stay up. But this guy needs to be um, helped a little bit more to stay up on that stick a little bit so he doesn't get into his neighbor's yard over here. So uh, I'm gonna fix that and I'm just checking. See, I've got some tomatoes, some really nice looking tomatoes there. And just going down the line and checking to see how everybody's doing. These guys are really growing big getting little tomatoes on them. This looks like it must be a cherry tomato. Uh, and so yeah, this one was really tiny when I put it in and it's doing really well. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you something that I learned from Zach at the Stivers Homestead uh, a few years ago, I think. And I've been using it for a few years. And I don't know if I've told you guys about it, but it's this tape. It's Velcro tape I got from Amazon, if I can hang on to it. And it comes in a big roll. It's not very expensive at all. And all I do is cut off a strip and then just wrap it around gently so that it holds up the plant. And it helps really, it helps a lot. See, there's one there. So I've done some of these, but they're getting so big that they're kind of gonna need a little bit more help to stand up and you probably could use these for your peppers as well when they get up high enough and get their peppers on them so and like i said i bought this like two years ago and i still have all this left so this will probably do me at least another year depending on how big these tomatoes get but it's working well so let me show you what okay I so hopefully you can see get you propped up against the tomato plant so i just take it out a pretty good piece of it and just cut it and you probably didn't see that because I don't have my tripod out here but um, I just wrapped it around this guy right here and this stick and that should hold it up really well I could do this as well if I needed to but that should be okay but I think I'm gonna go around and just maybe push this one in and see if anybody else needs a little bit of help and I really like this Velcro stuff and it's gentle on the plants. So if you're looking for something and you're not sure what to use, this works really well. So also the cool thing about this Velcro stuff is it's reusable. I wrap it up on my posts 
and I leave it for the next year or I ball it up and I put it in my greenhouse and then I know that I can come and get some if I need it. So it is reusable. This one is probably, it's not as sticky Velcro. So this was probably from my first year using it, but it still works. It's just not super grabby, but uh, so anyway, that's, that's what I do to hold up my uh, tomatoes, or I could, like I said, I could even use them for my peppers when they get big enough. But I just thought I'd share that little hack with you. Uh, I'm sure everybody has their own thing that they do, but anyway. Thanks for watching.